ready? Yes, me. What's going on, guys? How you doing? My name is Khalif. And I'm Venice. And we're back with another episode of Every Day with me and Kay. First and foremost, we would like to thank everybody for being with us. We have been out on a little hiatus due to us hard working at work. Um, would you like to say anything to the people? Uh, nah. <laughs> no? Okay, we have a really serious topic today that we want to talk about. But before we get into that, we would like to make sure everybody is liking, commenting, and subscribing down below. So Let us know any topics you want us to cover. Yes, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So every time we put a video out, you guys are notified. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys. You want to start? Uh, we just finished start. watching um, the interview, uh, the Breakfast Club interview with the legend Monique. If you guys don't know, she is a female comedian. She's been in the game for, what, over 20 years? 20 plus years. 20 plus years. And we decided to come on here because we just wanted to discuss how annoyed we are with Charlemagne, Charlemagne. or Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, yeah. Leonard. All right. I always stick up for Charlemagne because, you know, it is a radio show. So yeah. um, you say certain things or whatever. But um, I was taken back by him not believing in Monique. I mean, listen, we talking about Monique, though. You like, <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like... It's, as black people, yeah. as the black community, why do we have to jump through loops and hoops? Even if she's not trying to say certain things, I feel like she defended she, her ground with right, Netflix. Right. All right, maybe she shouldn't have. She did say she maybe she should have come at it a different way. But what is that way? And you know, as in the black community, we always say, like, help each other out, what to do. Nobody really knows how to come about this stuff, but something has to be done. Like, come on now, y'all. How much did Amy Schumer... How much was Amy Schumer given? What, 13 million? 13 million. And, and she was given how much? She was given thousands? Yeah, a couple thousand. Like... That's unacceptable. By all means. <laughs> exactly. Because if we think of Monique, we think of her... If you think back to the Kings of Comedy, she, she was, was one of the... Uh, only the, woman. Yeah, one of the only... She's always funny. Mm -hmm. You can't say she's... I mean, maybe one joke wasn't funny, but come on. She made Almost Christmas. Her and right. J.B. Smooth, like, come on. Yeah. Like, let's stop she's it. She's up there with Dave Chappelle. She's up there yep. with Steve Harvey. She's up there with Cedric. And then she's they keep saying with... Amy Schumer sold out all these... But it was whack. Like, I tried... First of all, I don't... No disrespect to Amy Schumer, but you are technically new in the game. And let's be real. You're not really that funny like to honestly, me yeah your dudes haven't been paid yet for you to be making that much honestly. and with monique her resume what like what's wrong with just showing your resume okay you may have not been offered 20 million but come on you could have been offered eight Word. you could have been offered 10 at least something at least some. That's a slap in the face, honestly. And then they keep saying, I do understand, okay, she was blackballed, but let's keep it real, y'all. You can only be blackballed by the black community. These people say things about you, and we take it and run with it. Okay. Oh, oh, we cut her off. Sorry. Just in case nobody's aware, Monique was given the donkey of the day by Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. because, because she she's... wanted everybody to boycott Netflix. Right. She felt like she was lowballed. And the amount that she was supposed to be given. Mm -hmm. Amy Schumer was given, what you said? $13 million. $13 million. Monique was offered under a couple 50, hundred thousand. On under, all right, under $50,000. I mean, so 500000 I'm sorry. She was given a couple hundred thousand to make, to uh, make a, a Netflix special. special. All right. I... <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm, I Honestly, Charlemagne, listen... We feel like every question that she asked, you danced around it. Mm -hmm. Um, Every question you asked her, she hit it right on the head, her and her husband. Mm -hmm. So her the least you could have done, the least you could have done was, was answer her questions officially like my as possible. And it gave, yeah, it gave her an apology because you was 100% wrong. Okay, um, I get it. It's donkey of the day. You feel like I'm not... You asking me to take it back or whatever the case is, I'm standing my ground. But you kept saying she wasn't answering her questions. She answered everything. And I feel like in our community, 
what more do you want? It's like, we gotta, you say one thing, she gives you the answer, now it's on to the next thing. Oh, but then now this, now but, this. Uh, he kept asking the same question, just in a different way. And she kept All answering, right. my resume, my resume. Yeah. Like, what more do you want? I'm not saying I should've got 20 mil, but I should've at least been offered 10 mil, and I can't do no other comedy work for two years straight. So what I'm supposed to do? How I'm supposed to make my money? I'm a comedian, I can't do a movie. You kept saying... Uh, Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle and Amy Schumer were selling out shows, but Netflix gave them that opportunity to do that. She didn't have that opportunity presented to her, and she kept it real. Because I'm blackballed, these people are not giving me this opportunity. And how was I blackballed? Because I'm sticking up for myself? Because I'm sticking up for other people like you? If I saw, if I was in a room with you and you got disrespected, I'm sticking up for you. Now I'm the angry black woman. Whether it was whether she was supposed to do it or not, she was just doing it. Just because right. you was another black man, as she so okay, or her brother. Exactly. But, Why... You know, and you and black women, let's be real, we always get, as soon as we speak up about something, why are you so angry? Why are you this? Why are you that? Why are you emotional? Why, like, we always get attacked as a black woman. You didn't understand that? You didn't understand that, Charlemagne? Come on, who are you trying to protect? And she was just asking, okay, maybe she, you don't have to uh, say anything to her, but you acting like you don't understand? You acting like she's so uh, disruptive and did you ever get that from her? Come on now. That's yeah, that was unacceptable. You're one hundred percent wrong for that, Charlotte. I was shocked at Charlemagne. You know, and you know the black community the black community. The black community looks at the donkey of the day every every, every day. day. We like we laugh about it. But... I was shocked on this one. For real. Because I looked up to Charlemagne a lot. But I lost some you know, some brownie points you lost for me. You know. Absolutely. Even, like, man, <laughs> everything that we say about each other. And then, you know, she used the, the um, she said she went to the, to the white, uh, who was those guys? The white oh, community yeah. and the Latin community. And even yeah. they understood. Well, without question. She did a, she, what she do? She did a, uh, a, a show or a something? A show with two white, with, with two white guys. And she basically explained the whole situation to them. And they stood by her side, like. <laughs> And we got to jump hoops and loops. They we do that to side. each other. You think the Latin community ever going to blackball Jennifer Lopez? Hell no matter what she does, she is the queen. She is the queen. Why is it that something happens and we take it and we run with it? Oh, can't like that person no more. Oh, we about to clown this person. Even if we clown them, she's trying to talk and be... She doesn't. She's not saying that she knows everything. She's been in the game for a long time. She's not saying any of that. Even Whoopi Goldberg, I didn't really watch that interview. I watched a clip. But even she said... You you don't understand. You come to me. We need to talk this out. We need to understand right. our lane. We need to understand how to go about stuff. We might not like it, but to get this platform, you may have to do a couple of things that you don't necessarily agree with. But and she told her, she talked to her, she said, "I understand you. I understand." Without any hard feelings, too. Exactly. There's, you have there's uh, the ability of you know taking criticism when you're wrong. And adjusting from it. Because I can understand is, is how... It, I'm sorry, not to cut no, you no. off. I can understand how a lot of people felt like she was... It was for her own gain. But when you asked her the question and she said, I gave them my resume and they looked at it like... <laughs> you talking to... Like, listen, we are talking about Monique. Monique. Yo, like, we're talking about Monique. And I'm not into the whole comedian Monique. world, but come on. Like, come on, yo. You think of Charlemagne, you... Not Charlamagne. You think of Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, all of those people. Who's the first woman like, you want to you want to say? Come on, yo. Like, like we only in our twenties. We know who Monique is. She Bree, paid. my she, our daughter. She is. She just turned six years old, and she loves the movie Almost word. Christmas. We la like her <laughs> character was the most real in that movie. Like it was spot on. Who don't got an aunt that's like that? Word. She said that's all the things. Our aunts would say, our mothers would say, our grandmothers would say. She was that role. Come on now. Come on. They had a $17 million budget. They uh, profited over $25 million. The profit was 25 Amy Schumer's movie, I don't even know the movie she was talking about, only profited under $3 million. She is absolutely trash, like. Absolutely trash. I, f I fell asleep. I tried to watch her <laughs> HBO special just because, you know, you hear a name all the time. You're like, well, who is Amy Schumer? I don't even know who she is. 
And I, I fell asleep in two seconds. I kept trying to rewind it back. Oh, did I miss the funny joke? You know I what? don't think anything that she does is funny. <laughs> they should have gave Tiffany Haddish that. Right. They should have gave Tiffany Haddish And then the thing that. is that Charlamagne kept mentioning Tiffany Haddish. That's still disrespectful to Monique. Because you saying Tiffany Haddish deserves more than me? Or can we just right. be equal? Like she paved the way for Tiffany Haddish. Exactly. Like, and all right, right, I did watch Girls Trip. It was funny. It was mainly only funny because of Tiffany Haddish, and they did have some points. But that movie could have been better. Yeah, it, like, come true. on, it could have been on a Sex in the City level. Like, Word. it could have been like that's they. True. And then I don't know the budgets. I don't know everything behind that. I and really I didn't do my research on that part. But come on, like it could have been. It seemed a little low budget. What I found out too through you was that it was filmed. During the Essex Festival, that alone, right there, it should have made. Mhm. Cause you know the Essence have, Film Festival. You know, who don't want to go to the Essence Film Festival? Right. That alone. Not right trying there. to play girl trip. I did love the movie. I really did thought it was funny. Like I was almost in tears. But come on, like I Tiffany Haddish. I love her for real. She's mad funny. She's dope. But you can't tell Monique in her face that you're, you're on the same it. level yeah. as Tiffany Haddish. Hold like, on, stop it. Why, why do we do this to each other? I don't get it. And honestly, I know Monique. She was standing strong. And I would not be surprised if she got in her car and she wasn't in tears. She wasn't in tears. Because even... All right, they didn't really pan it on Envy that much. And I even think that he understood. Wow. He understood where she was coming from. And then... Angela Yee, you gonna bring up stuff like, oh, cause somebody said you don't think just that that was them trying like, to get clout? Yeah. Like, oh, she's so oh, horrible to, to work this. with. I have to do this. This is my job. Like some things you don't have to say, like, even if it is your job. Like you know, uh, sitting next to this woman, you really think and even if people have bad days, you don't think she deserves to be a diva? You hear something about Beyonce, all right now, all y'all about to come in about Beyonce. You don't think she's a diva? Her Ooh. friends say it. She's a black, like, come on. Y'all do y'all say Kim Kardashian is a diva? Not at all. Uh, it's okay. It's Not a pass. But she don't have no real talent. <sighs> but it's a but she gets a pass. It's understood. Okay, like, come on now. We need to stop disrespecting our community like this. Like, at the end it's, of the day, it is Monique. Well, that, this boils down to that. What's that? That analogy? Crabs in a bucket. Like, that, that time of us bringing each other down is long overdue. Mm -hmm. Like, we, it's time to uplift each other, you know. Black Panther just came out. That was a movie to empower us as black people, show us what we are as kings and queens. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to stop taking everything at face value. If one of us mess up, uh, let us mess up. Like, And we talk to each other and we try to make it better. All right, we, we have our little jokes, we have our little memes, but mm -hmm. on the real level, y'all really going to take it that mm -hmm. far? And, and then in her face? And you don't think she's supposed to be taken aback? Like, dang, like, I didn't get paid for a lot of stuff. Listen. But in 2018, you don't think that I deserve? You don't think that I've already paved the way? You don't think that I will sell out like, a show? She's on that interview at, at, with gray hairs. And, yo, this woman done went so far, you know? Yo, remember Lost her talk weight, show? She, all of this. She had a talk show. She had I loved Marisha her talk show. Miss Parker, all of this. Yo, like, come on. Come on, like, don't disrespect her like that. But... We would love to hear y'all comments. We would love to opinions. hear what y'all got to say. We would love to hear, you know, y'all views on this. If you guys want to drop statistics Please over that, do. let us know. Please do. Um, we just want to start the conversation. Charlemagne, I'm, disappoint I'm disappointed in you. We still love you, but we Word. disappointed, bro. Like, Word. as even if it was, yeah, like, the man, just to get on. the conversation started, I know you got to take the heat for a lot of things, but we got to do better. We got to do Way better. Way better. Way better. Charlamagne, uh, there's a lot of things that you say that are correct, but this one right here, you don't have my proof on this one. So let us know what y'all think. We love you guys. Peace out.